called the worst of the worst thieves and burglars in Albuquerque. Police have complained about arresting the same people over and over again. So is a new approach helping to fix that problem? News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is on special assignment. All the way to the ground! Time and time again. Here's what I want you to do. Albuquerque police are seeing familiar faces. Did she give you permission to take that vehicle? Career cops arresting career criminals. I mean, last summer, it was it was just seemed like it was a revolving door. That's a term we've heard APD say a lot. The quote, revolving door of justice or catch and release. And we're arresting the same people over and over again. A suspect with a long criminal history is arrested, booked into jail, then let back out on the streets. It affects everybody. Detectives noticed that pattern, particularly with property crime offenders. The army of car thieves and burglars constantly prowling the city. I think there's there's been just a systematic failure of the entire system in, in, in its entirety. APD Chief Gordon Eden sat down with us to talk about the problem and what the department hopes will be a solution to slowing this plague of crime. He says it starts with the relationship between APD and newly elected Bernalillo County District Attorney Raul Torres. Reducing overall property crime is one of the top priorities for this administration and for this office. We're reorganizing this office around a data-driven approach. To do that with limited resources, Torres says his office is focusing on the worst of the worst, making sure their cases don't fall through the cracks or end up in sweet plea deals. The worst of the worst come from a list provided by APD. More than a dozen top property crime offenders who've all amassed lengthy criminal records, some of them in a short amount of time. Take Dan Hoffer. Court records show nearly a dozen felony cases against him in 20 2016 alone, mostly for breaking into cars or stealing them. But many of those charges were dismissed by the prosecutor before Torres came into office in January. We have a substantial backlog of referred felony cases. At last count, there was nearly 8,000. We've got 100 attorneys. We screen about 25,000 cases a year on, in addition to that backlog of 8,000. More than 5,000 of those backlogged cases, Torres says, fall under property and drug crimes. All right. But the responsibility of building stronger cases and following through for convictions, Chief Eden admits, also falls on his officers. We would generate a report on a auto theft and it may, it may have been sent to the auto theft detectives with some follow-up, but maybe not enough. So now what we've done is we've taken that to bring everybody together. Since Torres took office, Chief Eden says there's been a DA presence each week at APD's crime analysis meetings, where police detectives, members from Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office, the Albuquerque Fire Department, and the FBI now share information to build stronger cases against repeat offenders. It just makes good sense to go after the person who's committing all these crimes rather than looking at them as individual cases. The whole purpose of impact prosecution is to take those people who are driving a disproportionate amount of the crime and get them out of this community. APD says it's already seeing results. Why the life of crime? Honestly, hey, it's not even the life. It's after months of court cases going nowhere, Dan Hoffert was finally sentenced just this month to 10 years in prison for his constant crimes. Kinds of different keys. Police found Hoffert kept a handful of shaved keys used to steal cars. Also on the list of top troublemakers, Henry Saracino and Gilbert Anderson were each sentenced to four years for property crimes. Eric Ariano and Layla Logan will serve three years. And Jerome Butler faces up to 11 and a half years for property crimes and being a felon with a gun. Longer prison sentences, police argue, can mean a break in burglaries for Albuquerque, plus time for the criminals to get clean. Chief Eden says seeing these results in court has boosted morale among the department. I firmly believe now that we have this process started, the judges can make a better informed decision because we're looking at the person and not a single incident. Although his office can't prosecute every case at once, Torres vows he'll start at the top and work his way down. But keeping career criminals off the streets is a start. People deserve to live in a community 
where they can be safe, their property can be safe, and they can count on the justice system to you know, hold folks accountable. On special assignment, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. APD says we may start seeing more federal sentencing in some of these cases. You can find the full list of Albuquerque's top property crime offenders and the status of their cases online at krqe.com and the KRQE News app.